a tutorial video for the Ricoh Tata V camera and how you connect it to your phone. Uh, so one of the first things you want to do is you want to get the Tata V app. It's this one here for the camera. You want to get it at the Google App Store. Then you want to turn it on. Okay, so when it launches, this is exactly what I do now. I got some images on there. All right, so first thing you want to do is you want to go down here to this icon. You want to press that. All right, so you're going to register the camera. So you're going to find the Ricoh Tata V. Go to other models. Okay, <clears throat> here it tells you to enter the serial number. It even tells you where to find it on your camera. So here's the camera. And I'm going to block off the number, but uh, you will find the number right where my thumb is. That's exactly where the number is. So I'm going to put in the camera number. For my camera, you put in yours for your camera, and we're going to enter it there. And then I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. And then I'm going to troubleshoot you some issues that I had with it. Okay, next you want to turn your camera on. So the power button's right there. You want to push and hold that for a few seconds, and it's going to turn on. And then you're going to see the icons here. So there goes the camera and then the little Wi-Fi signal. And then now we can register the camera. So let me uh, hit register on that. And this is where the problem begins because you're trying to register and it's just not going. So here is the solution for this. So let me go back to the issue that I had with it. So you actually want to go to phone and you're gonna turn off the Wi-Fi. So turn this off, see the Wi-Fi. This is this is the main point for this tutorial. So this is how I got, it, I got it to work for me. This is an Android phone, so let's turn it off. Okay, so now it's turned off, okay? Now, the next thing you wanna do is back into the Wi-Fi mode. You're gonna go to Wi-Fi on your Android phone, right? Now you're gonna Turn on your Wi-Fi there, okay? do is you want to find the network, and the network is going to be the Ricoh Tata V network, right? So you're going to actually click on the Tata V and then the number. I know it's kind of strange, but that's how I got it to work. So now the camera is registered, and you should be able to use it. So let's uh, take a look at it. So now we're going to go back to the Ricoh Tata V is your registered Wi-Fi. And then we're going to click away and we're going to go back to the Record Tato B app. And then before I show you, okay, so there it is. So now, now it's working. So there you go. Now it's working. And then you can see as I move the camera around, all right, it's showing you. It's a live view of it. So that's a little troubleshooting for it. Uh, I hope you found it helpful. I don't know why it's like that, but I had to change my Wi-Fi to be the Record Tato V. And now it's registered and now you can go ahead and use your phone to take a picture with your phone or you can record video with your phone and you can access all the menus so let me know i'm gonna put down the steps in the bottom of this video so you can follow along and hope that's helpful to you